Hey guys, it's the Linux Talks, and we are going to be looking at Backbox Linux. It's another hacking and security distro. So it's a lot like uh, Backtrack 5 and Kali Linux tutorials that we went over. So this uses the um, XFCE desktop environment and uses Ubuntu as um, its package manager and as its underlying system. So here's the bas basic desktop. Over here we have our regular calendar, our networking interface, uh, sound, Bluetooth, and the, um, our uh, power information. So this is all the stuff we get with the uh, XFCE. And here's the whisker menu. Um, I really like the whisker menu. It gives a kind of interface similar to the Windows. Um, not really, but uh, similar. So you can look at all your apps um, in, the, in the different sections. So we can see uh, there's a, a bunch of uh, programs installed, everything from Oaf, Oafcrack to uh, Aircrack and all the way to Metasploit. So we can look at the different little sections. So here's Anonymous. So you can do RAM wiping. Um, if you want to uh, clean your RAM, say, keeps you people from doing RAM freezing attacks where they just freeze your RAM and then take all the memory from that. So you can wipe your RAM if you're about to turn off your computer. Uh, or something you can do anonymous off and off. Here's the auditing software. So this is pretty much the the base um, security software right here. So you can just open each tab. Uh, so we have information gathering, network, and then here's our programs that we can use. Um, I've used Zim ZimMap a lot, ArpScan. Those are all pretty popular uh, tools. And we can also see web application, what web. Um, so you can look through each of these different. Um, like privilege, e escalation, password, local remote, sniffing and spoofing, um, maintaining access, uh, tunneling web backdoors into systems, um, reverse engineering, um, everything from mobile analysis, uh, Android and iPhone, uh, and even uh, malware analysis. So that's pretty cool. And even uh, VOIP analysis for phones and calling. And then we can see uh, services. They have SSH, Tor, which I'm glad they do have. I'm a big supporter of Tor. Um, they have uh, I thought they have Open SSH on here. Um, those are pretty cool. And you can see they have regular Apache uh, if you want to run a web server on there. Uh, and then the network manager. That's basic. And we'll take a look at uh, our term terminal emulator. Uh, this looks uh, like it is, um, I forgot the name of it, uh, Termite. Uh, I think this is what it is. Uh, we can d go check that out. Um, but that's what I, I'm thinking it is. Uh, we can look at advanced. No, it's actually Xterm, never mind. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and we can see our whisker menus on the top. And we can always fix that. Say we can uh, move and then, well, I mean, uh, you can panel, uh, panel preferences, uh, and you can add new panels. Uh, say you want another panel down here uh, with all your apps. We'll do that real quick. We'll create the row. Whoop. Create a row um, and make the length all the way. We're going to make a uh, solid color. We'll do kind of a uh, whitish color. There we go. Um, and then we can add some apps on there, items, apps, um, we can add the system load monitor, that, add, uh, we can add, no, we'll take that out, take that off, but um, we can add different things, we'll add places on there, we can add, um, let's see, we'll actually add some programs on there. Let me remove these actually off there. Remove and remove. So we have our basic panel down there. Um, we'll find some good apps put on there. Um, we'll add FileZilla at the panel and at the panel one. So there's FileZilla down there. Uh, we can add the terminal emulator. Boom, that's on there. Software updater. So you're getting where you're kind of seeing where I'm getting at. You can make your own little panel of apps. Um, you can edit, do panel preferences. So we'll mess around with it. Say we don't always want to view it. So uh, let's see. Automatically show and hide panel. Um, 
let's see, I think it's an appearance, um, loaded items, uh, I forgot where it, where it was, I think it might be that, uh, but it's pretty cool, um, you can do different stuff with it, uh, lock panel, and you can see we can have kind of like a, uh, like a little, uh, menu down here, like your favorites menu. Uh, I have a I have a menu like this kind of in my uh, Arch Linux because I run XFCE and I just love it. So we'll remove that real quick. Uh, not really into it. Let's move this panel down here down to the bottom. We make it kind of like a Windows environment. So um, style. Now we'll just leave it there um, and we'll just uh, unlock the panel and we'll just run it back down here. Boom. See, it just with uh, this you can just edit so much stuff. But we'll lock the panel again. Properties, whoop, close. Panel preference, lock panel, boom. So now we have uh, our thing down here. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have Adelia, which I like. It's a big thing for Tor. Uh, you can uh, do a lot of stuff with it, like set up relaying, relaying bandwidth graph, view the network. Um, that's all cool. But we're not gonna go on Tor today. Uh, so we'll just close that. We'll look at the file system, how they have that set up. So they use uh, the Backbox File Manager. Um, it looks uh, kind of like uh, Thunar, a tiny bit. So we have our spaces on the side, kind of a Mac type view. Uh, we have our different folders with the desktop and all of that. So we can see Stop Tour right there. Uh, boom, that's done. So yeah, this is basically Backbox. Uh, has all the programs and stuff you need to do some hacking and uh, different uh, security stuff if you're in the cyber security and all of that and then uh, if you want to take a look at the installer used to install uh, Backbox we'll start that up real quick let's give that a second so Backbox is a big competing thing with Kali uh, but they're both great so look this installer is great you're not having to work with the command line uh, you can easy to use uh, GUI for an installer to uh, download updates but to um, to really uh, do what you want and with XFCE it's a lightweight uh, environment and you can pretty much um, pretty much change what you want add panels um, and that's why I really like F XFCE and when I use Arch Linux and configure my own um, distro that's what I use XFCE because uh, I'm not worried about um, desktop environments being heavy on resources like Ubuntu would or maybe even GNOME so thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to Linux Talks. And just let me know if you want any specific software di or Linux distro videos. Uh, just uh, put something in the chat or just email me. All right, bye.